All right, testing, testing sound. I think it's about mailbag time, and we are recording. I had to go in there and reboot a camera, and then I don't know what's going on. So uh, let me check and see if the sound's good. Also, I'm going to get the other stuff we need for mailbag. Let's see here. Sounds good. And let me get a chair here. No, no, don't go in the closet, buddy. You'll get stuck in there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Okay, there we go. Let's see if this is going to work for us. Um, how do we look? Yeah, looks fine to me. Let me uh, just see one other thing here. Okay, I think we're good. Excellent. Hey, no need to hiss. All right, good morning. Oh, wow, I got the sun right in my eyes for now. Maybe if I scoot back just a tiny bit, it's just going to take that much longer to get there again. Okay, um, well, I, um, I moved us back in the Christmas room. I took some time for that this morning. And um, what's news this week, kiddo? Anything? I don't think there's too much news, actually. I can't think uh, of anything that, that uh, significant that happened this week. So, um, I guess we might as well jump right in. We've got a ton of letters, uh, which is great. I mean, they're, they're probably mostly Christmas cards, so I don't know how much we'll have to say about each of those, but we'll find out. What are you sniffing there, buddy? Okay, so let's see. Um, I thought I'd put all the letters right here where I could easily get to them. I did, but then I put my chair right in front of them. All right. Oh, okay. I did not cover up the addresses on these because there were so many. And I thought maybe we can just try to be careful about not getting them too much on the stream. We'll see. I put some food in the bird feeder the other day. And uh, since then, it's been like these guys' favorite thing. Wow, this box is just, man, full of wonderful stuff. You guys have been so generous. I need to clear this out. I think I said that last week too, didn't I? There's so much stuff in here, I can't even find the uh, mailbag things. All right, there's my knife. We're going to need that later. And uh, something in here has got to be for opening the little letters. Uh, what would you call that? Like a letter opener, maybe? Seems too literal. <sighs> okay, there's one. Okay. All right, fantastic. Wow, that is some busy lunchbox. All right, uh, let me just check again before we get started, make sure I'm not messing anything up. Good, doesn't look like I'm messing anything up too much. Till, oh wow, it's funny, sitting here and talking to you guys, I can see myself on the TV right over there. That's convenient. Um, you know, it's on a delay, but at least I can see. Hi, Till, hi, you can come in here and hang out. Yeah, you're good. Uh, till Maggie decided to go like on the rampage this morning and, uh, um, I, I don't know. It was interesting watching Maggie sort of go after Till because Maggie went into her room and then immediately like, whoa, 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 hey, it's all right. Then immediately went up and sniffed her and then just laid into her. Like, it was weird that she took a minute to smell her first. Like, hey, are you who I think you are? And then Maggie started attacking, and so I tried to break them up, and of course, uh, then Maggie immediately went 
after whatever was the next closest target, which happens to almost always be this one right now nearby. So um, that was excitement uh, for all of us. Uh, fortunately, you know, there was no damage done. And uh, it's interesting to me how Till is, is sort of always uh, de-escalating. Like, uh, she's never the source of trouble. Uh, the most she ever does is like you just saw where she's like, back off, kitten, uh, you know, and that's it. So it's always Maggie. Um, all right, this is so cute. I, don't, um, I think I know who this is. Do I? I don't know. It's hard for me to recognize people. Uh, but this is a wonderful dog, dogs. Um, and it says, tis the season for love and kindness. And, oh, oh my goodness. And uh, definitely some kindness in there. It says... Uh, Mr. H, Dr. DJ, all kitties, big and small, sending you some good doggo energy this holiday season. I think maybe you can see that. Uh, the images are from Acadia National Park in Maine this year, where S.D. Grady and I had a lovely meetup. How cool is that? I've got to go to some, uh, I don't know if I've ever been to a national park. Um, just, you know, like local forest preserves. That would be so fun. Uh, hope to make a trip someday to a magical place called Kitten Academy to bring home our own bundle of floof. Mary Mary! Uh, and then the name is Jenny Fairy? Is that what that says? Jenny Fairy on Discord? Um, okay. I hope that's right. So thank you so much for that and um, for the wonderful donation. I have to, um, have to move that over here. Uh, there we go. You must make a lot of donations because I noticed that your checks uh, even have the ASPCA on them so that's uh, that's really fantastic thank you but people are so lovely and generous and thoughtful too i was just lamenting the fact that i am such a thoughtless person especially when it comes to you know things like this i just uh, well anyway that's neither here nor there thank you very much all right, here we have someone who looks a lot like um custard having eaten an entire plate of cookies and has to undo his bell Serenity really just wants to have that that particular uh, bench uh, seat to herself up there. I don't know if you heard her growling over this mic. Probably not, but she did a little growl when she kicked him off. All right. Uh, anyway, there's our nice card, and it says, <laughs> "Gonna need a bigger chimney." Merry Christmas. May your Christmas be filled with treats and spoogles. Ah, uh, Polly girl and Tommy the cat. A uh, note. Oh, there's a note. We can read it on the stream. So, Mr. A and DJ, just wanted to say hello, and it was nice to meet you both at KA Con this year. I'm looking forward to Callie's babies to be born. Happy, healthy. Tails, no tails. However they come out, they will be adorable. I know you hear this a lot, but thank you for all you do for the moms, non-moms, and kittens. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Polly girl. Oh, thank you, Polly girl. P-A-U-L-I. Um, that's a very sweet thought, and uh, yeah, I, I think that was the most interesting thing about the um, about her kittens is that we finally got a solid answer to the question. Uh, you know, two of them without tails tells us a lot about her genetics, and uh, yeah, so what a what a relief. I'm sure that uh, I don't know if relief is the word, but uh, you know, it's just interesting, and uh, I'm glad it went that way. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying this morning. You're just gonna have to work through this with me, so. Okay. Put that right over there. Ooh, it's three-dimensional, and it is a beautiful little kitty wearing a scarf and a sparkly Christmas hat. It says, Snowy Holiday. He is, he is looking like he wants to jump all the way over the fan, which would be impossible and a big mistake. Oh, he's really thinking about it, though. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, more generosity. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, it says, wishing you a perfect holiday, Ginger Cat Lover. Uh, the happiness KA has brought me throughout this year and every other year is overwhelming. Thank you for all the loving care you give the KA moms and kittens. P.S. Hope you can read this. My handwriting is horrible. <laughs> Merry Christmas to everyone and especially the tiny, uh, tiny wimeys. Tiny wimeys. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's uh, to DJ and Mr. A, wishing you a perfect holiday. Love, Ginger Cat Lover. Thank you very much, and you've included, um, there we go, let's see if we can just set that right there for now, a wonderful donation, ooh, to uh, our Starbucks fund, thank you. Okay, you want to play with that here? You want to play fetch while we do this? 
Yeah, look right here. Look, you got to see me throw it if you're going to fetch it because you're not too good at this yet. Okay, watch. Watch, watch, watch. You ready? Hey, hey, look at this, okay? <laughs> Off like a rocket. Okay. Let's see if she's going to bring it back. No, she's just going to lay in there and play now for a minute. Ooh, it says Meowy Kitmas. I see. Uh, and that is a very cute uh, Photoshop of a bunch of kitties, I think, put together by the Christmas tree. Beautiful little kittens. And it says, guess who's hoping your every little Christmas wish comes true? Calimo, Sir Geek, Thistle, Fern, Moss, Puddles, Brawly Bud, and Auntie Priscilla, too. Merry Christmas and Happy Mew Year. I see. Yes, now it makes sense. I thought that the uh, Tordy especially here looked super familiar, but now they all look familiar. And it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty and students, it's hard to believe that it's been almost five months since we were at Kitten Academy to bring home Puddles, Bud, and Brawly. We took our time with integration to make sure that Puddles got to know everyone, but now we're a happy combined household. She still hisses now and then. We suspect she didn't grow up around other cats, so she doesn't have the usual cat-to-cat -cat vocabulary. But she's happily coexisting with the tiny plants and their auntie, Priscilla. She's very happy with her new personal shiny butler and snuggles, cleans him at every opportunity. Bud and Brawly are super sweet, cuddly, playful sweethearts who just want to be friends with everyone. By the way, Brawly appreciates your ceasing of blaming her, but retains her legal team just in case. Fern, Moss, and Thistle have pretty much accepted the kittens as part of their clouder, and they generally give Puddles her space and just ignore her if she does hiss. That old K.A. magic does the trick in making kitties who can handle new friends. And Priscilla is enjoying her new torty apprentice. Oh, look what you brought me here. Um... We're forever in your debt for bringing six awesome kitties into our lives. Every day they bring us lots of laughter and love. Our Christmas wishes for Kitten Academy. One, that Serenity, Drizzle, Sprout, and Till all find their forever homes. Oh, hi. Okay, hello. Hi, old Sprout. You're such a sweetheart. That Calendar and kids continue to be healthy and strong. That you, Dr. DJ, and the faculty stay healthy and happy in the coming year. Oh, thank you so much. Calimo, Sir Geek. That is it's all sweet, wonderful thoughts. And... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. Um, it's, it feels weird that you're writing about how well they're integrated into your home and we still have two of them here. It feels, feels weird, but I think about it, you know, um, a lot. Um, oh, you also have a Christmas card in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to like, oh, it's not even just a Christmas card. It's a, it, I think it's a magnet. Hang on, let's see if that's, I don't even, I think that's aluminum, so it's not going to stick, but I'm just going to try this anyway. Oh, and I missed on top of all that I missed. All right, well, now it's next to the fridge where I can put it. Uh, I tried. Um, what was I was about to say? So, oh, that, uh, yeah, no, I think about them, you know, being here and um, that they're just such sweet, wonderful uh, cats, kittens, you know, bigger kittens now. Um, I know they're going to find the right person to adopt them, but I, I was thinking about, like, of course they're going to stay here until they're ready to be adopted. I can't even imagine, like, sending them to Dawes or something to be adopted from there. Like, it's just as long as it takes, it's fine. Uh, somebody's going to gonna really appreciate them because they are super sweet and super wonderful. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, I recognize these names on the return address. Let's see here. Aw, <laughs> such a great card in right front and center. We have uh, the photo at K.A. Con. So cute. So, uh, <laughs> Tahini, Flair, Annie, and Sassy. Uh, Merry Christmas. Also, Rosalind and George. So, super cute. <laughs> I love the pictures of the kittens, the flat versions. <laughs> just adorable. I was just uh, thinking of you guys yesterday. I don't know why. I was thinking about the um, uh, the shooting um that George does, right? Uh, but, um, gosh, I can't remember what made me think of it. I think, I think something made me want to, like, tell somebody that I knew, like, an, a cowboy cowboy, <laughs> which is, I know, not accurate, but I don't even know how why I was thinking of that. All right. 
So this is this is a cute card too. It's uh, it looks like watercolor. It's cats that have knocked down a Christmas tree, and they are all in it. Uh, it's festive. Cats just want to have fun. Merry Christmas to cat lovers who can be horrified and then laugh at their antics. Well, what a nice thought because uh, that is exactly what we do. And this is a Christmas card from Philly Mouse. Dear Mr. A, DJ, and all the felines at KA, hope you enjoy the stickers and wishing you a wonderful 2024. Oh, did I, did I miss something in the envelope or did that, was that, in, uh, I think I, oh, look at that. Wow, it's a good thing you mentioned them. I don't think I would have noticed since they didn't come right out. Oh, these are so cute. Uh, this guy has, uh, they all have sort of a, a uh, visual style that is interesting. I don't know, this one reminds me of uh, Bob's Burgers. I think it's just the eyes and the face and the smile, maybe. And this one almost looks like a hypnotoad, <laughs> in a way. And then we've got some uh, cute little kitties here from... Uh... Hi, hi, <laughs> oh my goodness, you're so sweet, too. All right, uh, we've got this guy smiling and wearing a little hat. They're all Christmas style. And these two are kitties that are both drinking from straws out of the same milk. Uh, oh, oh, hi. Okay, now we want to play, huh? Yeah, you can't decide. What do you want? What do you want? You want to play? Yeah? Okay, let's play. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Careful with those claws, though. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. It's a very cute card, Philly Mouse. And the stickers, again, will go in there until we can uh, distribute them correctly. Hi, you've got to bring that closer if you want me to throw it. I cannot reach it over there. That was uh, Drizzle just dropped the spring for me to throw, and she's looking at me, too, like uh, I brought you this. But it's all the way back there. This is a, this is a cool card. It's Warmest Christmas Wishes from Canada, and it's got a bear and a raccoon and a hedgehog and a fox, I think. Very cute. It says, Merry Christmas, Mr. A, DJ, and Kitten Academy. Hope every little thing that makes you happy will be part of your world this Christmas. All the best this Christmas. Cheers to the new year ahead. Aw, oh, love, Chris and Caitlin. Thank you very much. And uh, he put a, like a holographic Canada sticker in here. That's super cool. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Well, Merry Christmas to you, too. All right, you can knock all those down for me. Thank you. Uh, uh, careful, Serenity. Oh, that's Ari. That's not Serenity. Okay. I thought that she was going to cause something, but I think Ari knows how to handle himself. So, okay, let's see here. This says on the outside it's from Laura Kitten Fan. I think that's what that says there. And this is Deck the Halls, and it is a, a very floofy tailed cat that has its uh, cat uh, has its tail decorated as a Christmas tree. There we go. You can see that. Wishing you a various Christmas and the happiest New Year. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year also to all your fosters, past and present. The good you do for these cats and kittens is immeasurable. Wow. May Till and Serenity and Sprout and Drizzle all find good homes soon. Uh, Callie, you are such a good mama to your tiny babies Monday, Julie, and Gregorian January holiday and Friday. To Squall and Wellingtons, I wish for a safe journey home and all the snuggles and play you uh, will uh, with your new people in 2024. Oh, I see. Uh, and all the play you could possibly want with your new people in 2024. To Mr. ADJ, Eddie, Ari, Logan, Custard, and Maggie and Teaspoon <laughs> as adjunct faculty. <laughs> That's cute. Best wishes. And it is Laura Kitten Fan on Discord. So... Perfect. Thank you so much. That is uh, sweet and a sweet thought. Okay. Well, how are you? How are you balanced on the back of this chair, buddy? There's hardly even any chair there. I hear playing with ornaments and things going on back here too. Hi, hi, sweetheart. Come here. Would you want to sit in my lap? I know. Well, you've become such a picky eater now. You'll be plenty hungry for lunch, won't you? Everybody else absolutely loves the special GI diet that she gets, except for her now, because I guess anybody else's food is better. All right, we have two... <laughs> this is very cute. <laughs> we have two snowmen talking to each other, but one of them has been built with, like, logs for arms, and uh, the, the other one is saying to him, 
Uh, geez, uh, Mr. A, you've been working out? <laughs> and it's labeled Mr. A, KA fans. That's very cute. <laughs> uh, oh, and a very generous cash donation in there, too. All right, I'm just going to slide that right in. Oh, right in there. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for that. Wow. Uh, it says, hi, Mr. A, DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens. Hope your holidays shape up to be hugely happy. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2024. This is to help with all the good work you do throughout the year. Best wishes, Barley uh, and the cat's uh, godmother. I think that's what it says. Signed by Barley. And there's a little cat right here. XOXO. That is super sweet and very generous. And I think the card is hilarious. Thank you have been working out. I haven't been doing as much weight training as I should, as I want to, so I'm not exactly swole, but I've been keeping up really well on the aerobic exercise, which I think is, is really the most important, uh, as long as I can maintain that, but uh, yeah, I want to do more. It's just I've been doing so much that I wear myself out, like just completely exhausted, which is good. I'm glad I can do it. It makes me feel great, too. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, yeah. <sighs> Okie dokie. This is cute. A uh, very cool cat wearing a Christmas sweater and glasses, and he looks very proud of himself. May all your sweaters be ugly and bright. Merry Christmas. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, moms, and kittens, Millet and Sydney. Aw, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. May everyone receive all they want for Christmas from Millet, Sydney, Kathy, and Bill. That's uh, adorable. Thank you. It's good to hear from Millet and Sydney. Uh, Millet being another cat that had an unusually long stay here uh, for different reasons, I guess. That was more of a teaspoon situation, um, but uh, found a wonderful place to be. All right, this is, uh, let's see, it's a cute uh, Christmas tree constructed of various animals, including a wrapped uh, turtle wearing a bow, I should say, a family of cats, a dog, a hedgehog, a rabbit, a chameleon, and it looks like a little chick and a mouse. It says, having a pet is all about compassion and love, and your heart is full of both. Happy holidays to a pet's best friend. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ and faculty, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy 2024. Thank you for this beautiful community you've created and sharing your home with all of us 24 seven. It is a joy every single day to watch the cats and kittens. Thank you for being a light in our lives. Wow, uh, thank you, Dawn, S and J's mom. That's very sweet, thank you very much. These two kids, uh, Welly and Squall, are both so like just trusting and floppy and wonderful. It can almost make them hard to pick up sometimes because when you pick them up, they just kind of go <laughs> It's so sweet though, and they're just their fur is thick and snuggly. Oh, they're, they are going to be wonderful for their adopters. It's coming up so fast. I keep looking and thinking, oh, it's too soon. What have we got? 14 days, I think. Exactly two weeks to the day, and they will be going home. Oh, it doesn't bear thinking about I know they're going to have a great life. Uh, their adopter is uh, wonderful people. But it doesn't make it easier. Well, it does make it easier to say goodbye. Factually speaking, still very difficult. Um, all right. This is cute. It's like an old-timey toy store at winter with a uh, snowman outside, and uh, it's got like 3D shiny uh, holly leaves on it. Holly? Is that what I'm thinking? I think that's what I'm thinking. There we go. Oh, handmade by Jenny. Wow. Well, good work. That's beautiful. Oh, I see now that the, the old-timey thing is also like uh, pasted on there in a way. That's cool. Hmm. Very pretty. Chris... DJ and assorted cats. Wow, I read that and I'm like, wait a minute, who's... Oh, that's me. <laughs> Merry Christmas. May everyone be healthy, all kittens be fluffy, and all pee be inside the litter box. Love you all, Ginny, Jimmy, Winnie, and Gary. Huh, I, for somehow, I did not even suspect that this was you until I read the signature. That's so cute. Nice work. Thank you very much for thinking of us. Okay. (laughs) 
Wow, I went from uh, very few Christmas cards to put out to like now an entire collection at one mailbag. This is two kitties wearing crazy glasses and Christmas sweaters, and it says he sees you when you're peeking. I see, because they're wearing glasses. That is cute. Oh, excuse me, I got a yawn coming. I've had two cups of coffee already, but uh, and I got my sleep schedule back on. I actually got enough sleep last night, went to bed early because I was exhausted, and uh, I don't know, still trying, to try, having some trouble shaking it off this morning, I guess. All right, this is uh, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty wishing you a wonderful Christmas filled with love and laughter. Merry Christmas from Chris and Sophie. There's also what appears to be a note. Oh, Teaspoon, come back, buddy. I think I think she just wanted to play with you, but pal, you want to you want to come here? Teaspoon, are you looking at me? He's not looking now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, to read on stream, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ and the faculty. I've been watching Kitten Academy since 2016. First time writer. Aw, thank you for all you do. I, I love I love hearing that there are still people that we haven't met yet that uh, have been watching it for such a long time. Thank you for all you do for all the mom, cats, and kittens. I'm a mom to a rescue I found walking along a busy street at five weeks old. After many attempts to find out if she was a kitten uh, that wandered away, I took her in. That was 10 years ago. She's not a lap cat, but loves to snuggle on her own terms. Yeah, we've got several that are like, like Maggie. Um, you know, if I pick Maggie up and put her in my lap, she just wants out off my lap immediately. That's what I wanted to say, actually. Thanks for reminding me. But, but, uh, but when Maggie wants to be pet, she will sit in my lap and she just refuses to get out. And, and we've been doing that so much lately because she's been spending time in my office with me and with Logan or with Custard. Uh, it's one of her favorite places to be now. She demands to be let into the office to hang out there. And then when she's in there, she loves to get on my lap and just, just snuggle and snuggle and snuggle like endlessly. Uh, but outside of that context, she's just not that into it. Um, but she and I have uh, really, you know, developed um, a sweet relationship over the years. So, uh, so it's rough. She, like when when she got into that big kerfuffle this morning, um, I grabbed her, and she she like she was in such a mode that she she like grabbed me too with him with her teeth. I got a little scratch. Um, it wasn't anything major, but then you could tell how much she regretted it too. The whole thing. I think she she would have sort of regretted the whole incident because um, she knew it wasn't right. But you know what are you gonna do? You don't you don't blame them for that. It's not again. It, it's not like she could have done any differently. <laughs> it's just up to me to keep those things under control. So uh, you know that's why we don't we don't ever punish. Like, that's just not a thing that makes sense, I don't think, to, uh, to punish, well, anybody, if you want to really get philosophical about it. I don't think that's a thing that works, but that's a whole other story. I, I think it definitely doesn't work on, on cats and animals. I think the reason that we, you see us, like, when they do something like that, put them in a room, it's not, like, to punish them. They're not in prison. It's, uh, it's there so that they just have some time to reset, you know, away from whatever the problem was. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, let's see. Um, oh, okay. She's not a lap cat, but loves to snuggle on her own terms. She's a black tortie with orange lightning bolt on her chest. She's def definitely a cat who is content to be the only cat in the house. When I'm watching K.A., she comes over and protests loudly as if to say, hey, you don't need them when I'm right here. Uh, it's pretty funny. She soon calms down and listens. However, she does not like to watch. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you again for all you do, and especially sharing with all the other folks that love K.A. Merry Christmas, Chris from Camp Hill. P.S. Forgot to say her name is Sophie. Aw. And this appears to be a photo of Sophie, and I can see what you mean by the lightning bolt. She also apparently shoots lightning from her eyes. So that's cute. I just heard a little hiss over there. Oh, Serenity getting into it with a teaspoon a little bit, huh? He, not that he cares. He could see he was just sitting there. Uh, thank you so much. And I love that you've signed your card, Chris and Sophie, with Sophie's little uh, paw print there, too. That's wonderful. Thanks for writing. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. Settle down there, Serenity. Come on, you're supposed to be serene. Uh... <laughs> 
I don't think that she really causes, you know, she does obviously cause a little bit of trouble, but I don't think she's out for, you know, like blood. She's just, I think, sort of trying to play and sort of trying to keep boundaries at the same time. And I've said it before. I think she just doesn't know how to properly express herself all the time, especially because she gets kind of socially, you know, uh, so, social anxiety of a sort, where she, after a while of being around too many cats, she just wants to go to her room. I was saying yesterday, um, when she gets like that, I just kind of have to, to herd her to her room, or she'll even run up there and sort of sit at the door waiting for me to open it. But when I do that, I have to lean like way over to the handle so I don't get too close to her, because if my feet come up close to her to open the door, she's going to run away. So I lean way, way over to reach the door handle, try to open it from as much of a distance as I can slowly so that she doesn't zoom off, because what she really wants is to go into the room. But she's going to run away if that's what it takes, you know. Anyway, she's cute. Uh, all right, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, this, is, this has got a note on the back, and it's got something. I think it's going to, oh, it's a pop-up. Okay, well, we'll see that in a minute. The note's on the back. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Merry Christmas and a peaceful, healthy, happy, and prosperous New Year. Enjoy the holidays and get a little rest if you can. Here's to another successful KA year. Love and thanks. Uh, Cecilia, thank you very much. This is, oh, I see, there is something in it. It says, press for light. Let's see if it works here. Is that the right spot? Oh, it does light up. It's going to be hard to see in all this sun. But maybe you can see the little flashing lights on the fallen over Christmas tree. <laughs> this cat over here playing with an ornament. This guy's just sitting here nicely on top of the boxes. Uh, oh, two of them playing with ornaments. That is super cute. I am full of yawns this morning. I'm sorry, I'm probably making all of you guys yawn too. Oh, all right. There's still a pile of letters here, too. But considering that we're already sort of halfway through the time, I think I'm going to save the other half of the letters for potentially a mailbag tomorrow. Because it seems like we might go over. Just making sure that what I said is true, that there are other letters here. And there are, yes. Okay, so I'm going to leave those right here. I am going to put this on there. There we go. I love it. This is my kind of mailbag. It's so, like, letter-centric. I've said for a long time I love it because it's a... First off, it's a chance to really sort of hear from all of you and, uh, and sort of uh, share, like... It's like looking back through the camera in a way. I know that's... Oof, what a way to put it. Okay, I'm not going to talk like that. But it is... Uh, it's sweet to hear how you guys collectively are doing and individually... And it's fun to sort of picture, you know, who's who's watching and enjoying it. So uh, I, I, I appreciate the letters and writing to me for that reason. Um, and I also appreciate it because, uh, you know, some people um, send us too, too much. It's all too much. When, I, I think anything, and I'm going to say this first so that nobody feels called out if, you know, if it's going to be happening during mailbag. But um, I, I, I feel like, like DJ and I have always said um, that, you know, we like to keep it about the kittens. And if you want to send something, you send it for the kittens. Because we truly do have, you know, everything that we need. Um, and it just, it just, uh, I don't know. Uh, you're all wonderfully generous. But that's, that's one of the reasons that I like cards is because they don't cost a lot. But it's still something you can send to me and know that I, I like. Uh, so it works out, I think, well for everybody. Cards and letters. All right, I think she's just about ready to go to her room if I... Uh, well, she's trying to play, though. She's got the zooms on. All right, we'll, we'll give her a little more time. Okay. I hope I made whatever point I was trying to make because it's time for us to just keep, keep rolling. All right, so I'll put that in there. And this is... Well, all it says is that it came through Zazzle, so let's find out what that is going to mean. This could be another letter or card. Ooh, it's not, though. Oh, oh, it fell right out of its package. Oh, it's a magnet of some variety. Aw, I want to see if there's a note. It looks like it's, it is uh, <laughs> a major case of fiddle face. <laughs> that rhymes. Oh, I like it. Um, I was trying to see if uh, we got any note with it, though, and we don't. It's just, it's just a little fiddle. It's very cute. 
So it's also a fridge magnet, and we'll also go on our fridge, and it says a major case of fiddle face. Super cute. Oh my goodness, that fiddle. Oh, oh, hey, look, my lunchbox is magnetic. Uh, I didn't, I did not realize until just this moment that I could have been covering this thing with magnets the whole time. I like Star Wars, especially the classic Star Wars movies. They're always going to be like a special part of my life. Uh, but I feel weird using Star Wars stuff on the stream because, again, we try to keep it about the cats and kittens and we try not to do stuff that's sort of heavily branded on the stream for good reasons. Um, so uh, this, is a, this is something I could have done a long time ago to sort of uh, keep the lunchbox going but also resolve that uh, mental conflict, cognitive dissonance. What are you looking at? There must have been a bird that flew over that way, but I don't see it. Now you're staring at the wall. That's not the window. <laughs> oh, weird kitties. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Fiddles Adopter, for sending that. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I, for some reason, I can't think of what name you're using on Discord, so I'm just not going to... Uh, thank you for sending that, though. It's super cute. Uh, and probably beats um, candies and chocolate, I think, because I really am trying to um, not just... Oh, this one says it's from April National. I'm not just trying to work out and do the aerobic stuff, but also to eat right, too. Well, look at this. Now we got two of these. And uh, it says unicorn popper. We've got a white one upstairs that is... Sit I know exactly where it is in the bedroom because it's so much fun. Um, and now I have a matching pink one, so I could get, I could even get like holsters and uh, wear one on either side. And, uh, I don't know why we're doing the cowboy theme again, but uh, that would work. These are so fun. I'm, I don't, uh, well, I'm, I feel like I should go ahead and take it out, but then I'll just lose balls around somewhere. So I'll bring it upstairs to open it. But these are so fun and cool, actually. If you, if you uh, never tried one of these, uh, you should get one. I think the cats love it. These make perfect little cat toys, these balls do. And you stick the ball in its nose and then you squeeze it and it just pops out and makes a really satisfying sound and it flies really far. And uh, it just, it's, it's just physically like fun to do and the cats love it. Uh, and it's a unicorn, so it's not enough to like. Now I've got that, like I said, the one upstairs is white, this one's pink. Perfect matching set. Uh, thank you uh, very, very much. I know I said, uh, didn't I? Who that was? April and Asheville. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. That is so cool. All right. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with these yet. We need to open a box so we can make this work for us. I think we can guess who this box is from based on the way it is labeled. I'm going to say Busy Cat. Let's find out if that is correct. Ooh, note right on top, here are some homemade waterproof blankets for the tiny wimies. I'd hoped to get them to you before they were born, but as you see, I didn't quite make it. Hopefully they will be useful as the, I can smell the draft coming out now you stepped on that. Um, Hopefully they will be useful as the tinies get bigger and start making tiny messes. As usual, they are all washed and ready to use, but I forgot to add the DREP scent booster. What? I'm positive I smelled that when she sat down. Um, as usual, uh, okay. wishing you and DJ a very happy and healthy Christmas and hugs and purrs to all the cats and kittens currently at Kitten Academy. Much love, Busy Cat. Oh, thank you so much. And the cute letterhead, too. This is very, uh, this is on the outside, too, somewhere. One of these. Um, I think everybody saw. So, let's see what homemade timey-wimey blankets we have. They are due for a blanket change, by the way. That one that's in there uh, is the bottom. You know, like we, I put in a big pile of them and then I, I remove them as they get dirty to make things easier and we, so that we don't disturb them quite as much. Uh, and they are indeed at the bottom, so today's the day. So, uh, let's see. This, oh, this is so cute. TJ... There's, there's definitely some amount of draft here. Maybe you didn't add the booster and just washed it in draft? I don't know. It's very cute. So here we have uh, lovely strawberries. DJ is going to just think these are all fantastic. She, she loves the strawberries and ones that we've had, so that'll be great. Here we have uh, little tiny uh, fruits, almost like fruit icons. The pineapples, oranges, cherries, grapes. Uh, really makes me think of Pac-Man. 
or uh, runts, the, the candies maybe? Should be more bananas for that. Oh, the bananas and the runts are the worst, aren't they? I'm sorry, that's probably a hot take or something. <laughs> oh man. Hi, buddy, you like these? Here we have a different strawberry print and a different, you must have heard the DJ like that little strawberry blanket because look at all these straw, we're straw buried in a mile here. I don't know why I do this. Hi, buddy. Well, now Teaspoon thinks it's a nice bed. He's on the pineapple. Are these all waterproof? Every single one? That's a lot of cute little waterproof blankets for their, their um, box. Oh, what did you say, buddy? Did you hear that? I probably can't. He made the tiniest little squeak. Aw, you're so cute. Well, I don't, I don't want to. The next one is pineapples. Oh, under that, there's some really cool banana print. Okay, we'll come back to this whenever he jumps off, Busy Cat, because this is, uh, this is sweet. He's got, well, maybe you should be a little closer. You just sit right there, pal. Okay. I think he's going to jump out now that I've disturbed him by moving the box, but let's see. Serenity. Oh, <laughs> she ran away. She looked right at me and was like, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even correct her that strongly. Okay, uh, next up, we have something uh, that seems art-like. Okay, that totally failed to open. Let's try again. There we go. Ooh, it looks art-like. <gasps> it says Kitten Academy. So, oh, this is so sweet. It says, some new memories for you from Trouble and Carrie. This is the 2018 to 2020 class uh, year book, apparently. Ooh. Now, I have the other yearbooks upstairs in DJ's office. Um, so, <sighs> these are cute. Wow, the first page is the faculty, and it's got all of us on here. Such a sweet, sweet thing. So uh, I don't remember which years we have, though. These do, uh, these, these are so cute. These are clearly, um, what was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say, actually. Um, the, uh, like from the calendars, right? That's what I was going to say. Uh, the calendars, uh, so cute. Wow, uh, I don't know if I understand all of it um, because I feel like this is one that maybe I've seen, but maybe I feel that way because of the calendar. I'm just going to add it to our collection and we will find out. Uh, I love these, these sort of hardcover things that you can have you know, printed because they're so nice to put out and shiny and the, the things inside are so glossy. Uh, it's just lovely. Um, over there we have the Ms. Melly poetry books, but I'm, like I said, I think the other yearbooks are upstairs on the shelf in DJ's office with some of the other special things. So that's, that is fun, and it, it'll fit right in there. So uh, thank you so much, Trouble. Uh, so we've got the rest of the Busy Cat blankets now. We have a Pineapples. We have a Bananas. Oop, this is, this is a cute. Uh, bananas right here. Look, they're uh, like sleeping at the beach, and this guy's sticking his tongue out. This one's cool. All right. Limes. Oh, I love this color for the stream. I don't know if this is going to go uh, on the camera, but I think it looks awesome for the stream. It'll be interesting to see if the white balance of the camera gets all thrown off by this. <clears throat> I think it's going to look uh, really cool. I like the print. It's uh, super limey. And uh, it looks like the last one he ones. This is actually multiple matching blankets have cactuses, cacti, very happy little smiling cactuses on them. <clears throat> Some of which are wearing bows. So that's a that's a wonderful set. I can't believe these are all little waterproof blankets for the kittens. They're perfect. Maybe DJ will want to put some of them in uh, today. So uh, this is all to go straight upstairs. We'll just slide that right. Oh, and this unicorn too. We'll slide Ooh, all of it right over there. Let's see. I'm just, I'm trying to do the math. We must have the yearbooks uh, like, you know, 15, 16, 17 probably. Um, so that does add up. I didn't realize we were so far in arrears with that sort of thing, but hey, in due time, right? That's how we roll. Isn't it? Isn't it, Till? Yeah, you'll get adopted in due time. 
All right. This is, uh, I think this is something I've been looking forward to. It does say box one of two. So let's find out. But I think I know who this is from, considering it has come such a long way to Kitten Academy. Let's see if there is a note in uh, box number one. And when we get to it, I will explain why I have been anticipating this. This is cute. It says knife guard, precious, oh, precious cargo. Uh, indeed. And we have the note. Okay, to read on stream. Oh, with hearts. Yes, this must be someone who's somewhat familiar with Kitten Academy. <laughs> he said. Uh, oh, don't panic. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes. Good morning, Mr. A. Dr. DJ Faculty, cats, kittens, and... As of writing this, new arrival, Callie. Okay, so yes, you probably noticed the incredibly large amount of goodies, but rest assured most of them are for DJ. I'd hate to ruin your new exercise routine with loads of candy. However, I did include the thin orange chocolate crisps. Oh, those are so good. Um, I also, my mouth is watering just looking in here. So this is full of these, oh, oh, I recognize what these are, and I see why you said for DJ. So, uh... The alumni, I think, uh, have, have had us subscribe to um, a, a monthly box of treats that comes, uh, that is human treats, uh, that, that comes in and is from a different country every month. Uh, and DJ recently had these cookie dough truffles that are, um, uh, I guess, from Finland or uh, some Scandinavian area thing. DJ does not like chocolate. She's not a, a chocolate eater in general, just doesn't get into it. But she tried these and she thought they were awesome. And it's mostly because they're cookie dough truffles and the stuff that's inside is, you know, a cookie dough. Uh, but it's not the chocolate chip cookie dough that is, uh, we are familiar with and that appears to be on the truffles package. It's got like this, uh, like a spiced chocolate chip cookie dough uh, a, a thing to it. And it's been a while since I tasted it, but I think it had sort of like a, almost a, a, like a, like a pumpkin spice. Like it would have some ginger and cinnamon kind of stuff in it. Um, and it is really good, like really good. So I had to ask online, I said, well, is that just the way they make the truffle or, you know, is that the way that they make cookies over there? And apparently it is the way they make cookies over there. And so DJ and I both have expressed an interest in those cookies. And that is why I have been looking forward to this because I believe somewhere in this is to be included uh, the recipe of how to make those cookies. And I, I've been thinking about that as soon as I saw this box. So that's super cool. I'm about to start drooling playing with these things. And I noticed um, that there is one that somehow seems to have escaped from its wrapper in, in root. I, that seems like a strange thing to happen, uh, but I think that means I have to eat it. Even though um, there was a little, like the box was slightly open when it got here, so who knows? Probably not going to kill me. Oh, it's so good. Oh, DJ's going to love this. Mm. You got to give me, that's it, that's it, yeah. That's the flavor. Um, I wouldn't describe it as sort of pumpkin spicy, not really. I know you want to listen to all these mouth noises. <laughs> you want one? <laughs> mm. Okay. I ate that way too fast. Um, but I didn't realize I was going to have to talk somehow. Okay. The orange crisps. They're paper thin. It's almost scientifically impossible for them to contain an excessive amount of calories, right? Let's go with that. Yes, that's what I told myself as I ate like the entire bag of uh, vegan mint chocolates that came in an earlier. They're also like that thin little wafer thing. Um, yeah. If there's no calories in one because it's so thin, then there's no calories in the whole bag. That's the way it works. I thought she was running to attack another cat, but no, it's that little squeaky bird mouse thing. Um, okay, now my mouth is watering even more. Among the goodies, you will also find mostly KA-specific stickers. Okay, I do see these are your wonderful artworks. Oh, and they are wonderful. DJ, this morning, 
I don't think she knew that you had sent this box or was anticipating this at all. Uh, but just this morning, she was pointing out that sticker that you like arranged to have placed here secretly um, from way overseas and was telling me that um, not only that, but that like you have observed then on the live stream, like watching to see that it happened, uh, like just manipulating things from the background. Ooh. Uh, so I can, I can recognize some of these as the, your art that I know. And then I, I have to say, I'm not familiar with all of it. This is clearly... Uh, little teaspoon looking super cute. You do, I just, I love the little whimsical art that you make and everybody can get it, of course, from your website. Um, so, I hope they do. This is so cute. Is th this is uh, a little orange cat who shall remain nameless sitting next to a box that has been uh, labeled for use as you see fit and uh, has, uh, has been, in fact, used as he sees fit. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that to uh, get the joke, but it has been peed in. And we, here we have a little gray kitty peeking over a box with his eyes all wide. Uh, more meows. Bessie Power interpreted as a cartoon sticker. Oh, these are so great. Not Bob! <laughs> I love these. Th these are like all the K.A. memes that we have had over the years in sticker form. Here we have Maggie holding her little bumblebee in her mouth, which is, I think, sort of a combination of uh, two things, really. I mean, she loves that little bee, and there's that picture that we've always had of her carrying around that fly. She caught a fly, and she was so proud of herself. She's just carrying around this tiny little fly in her mouth. Uh, it's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, here we have a uh, Eddie-looking cat with bright green eyes and, of course, a brush and shedded fur all around him. We have our interpretation of the retro photo shoot. Retro says, hang in there. Oh, TJ's going to go nuts when she sees these. I don't think she's seen most of this stuff, but she loves the little Maggie on the fridge. Um, all right, here we have a kitty that's probably custard uh, with an open can of food that she is jealously guarding. Here uh, we got a grumpy looking cat having his coffee in the morning. The Maggie sticker that I just mentioned, running Maggie. Uh, it's so cool. And the mug that you've got that's got me chasing after her with the bread. Really capturing that meme mo moment. And then we have Ari seeing ghosts. They're so cute and they're such uh, wonderful. Each one is just like recognizable and, and obviously refers to a well-known like K.A. meme. Uh, just wonderful. And then we've got a whole stack of cats, crafts, and coffee stickers that are all shiny holographic too. This is beautiful. And uh, wow, I almost, I, well, it'd be fun to just, I keep talking about taking all my sticker collection and using it to decorate some of the tech that I like to interact with every day or that I do interact with every day. Like people do, you know, every time I see somebody with a laptop that they've had all these stickers put on, I'm like, that's so cool. I need to do that. And so ever since I've been collecting stickers, I've been saying that's what they're going to be used for. This is such a cool set of themed, now stop it, that's unnecessary. Such a cool set of themed stickers uh, that um, I almost feel like I want to pick something that they could just cover by themselves and just have that uh, all together. Like maybe my deck, I still do use that fairly often. I almost feel like it's time for Tilt and Serenity to go to their rooms for a while. Oh, but we're almost done with mailbags, so we can just we can make it another 10 minutes with both of them out and then uh, then we can get them put up. Yeah, they'll be a little bit hissing, but these guys are so practiced in dealing with cats that hiss at them. They're super respectful on both sides, really. Uh, I'd say if there's anybody that is the least respectful of the bunch, it's probably Drizzle. And by that, I mean uh, like a normal cat level of, of being super respectful. Uh, whereas these guys are just like, um, you know, they're not going to get into it with anybody except me, apparently. Hi, yes, okay. Okay, good job, Squally. So, uh, I did not even go through the uh, entire uh, letter, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, good. So, uh, I was saying, K.A. stickers, dreamies, a cat toy, and a fancy Christmas mouse for decoration, as I feel Mr. Whiskers is harshly underrepresented in the Christmas decor at the Academy, all for use as you see fit. 
so, yeah, I got distracted talking about the, the truffles that you just sent, you know, like one or two of for DJ. So here they are. I think I mentioned the thing that I was looking forward to, though, is the recipe that you promised of, the, uh, of how to make those cookies. Oh, look at that. It looks like a whole other set of uh, the same stickers here. Wow. Now I have plenty. I can just decorate all my stuff in those, and I would, too. This is a very cute, <clears throat> it's a very cute mouse. He's wearing a, a little green scarf. He's got cute little ears and hands and the, uh, the hat. It's, it's adorably Christmassy. And it's also like a little, uh, you know, sand uh, bag thing that exactly matches our collection of gnomes that's been sitting over here in this chair. It's a perfect match for these guys. So I know he's just going to go right here, right now. With all the gnomes, he can hang out. He's got some new buddies. It's also Custard's place to, to hang out when he's here. Okay. Because you know why Custard likes to hang out here, of course. There's no place like gnome. I can't even, I can't even be enthusiastic about that joke. Uh, okay. Uh, the other papers included are the recipes I mentioned on Discord. Don't worry, I didn't include any live stories. Cardamom and cinnamon, that's what I was thinking. Yes, uh, that's what I wanted to say. It pairs, as well as cardamom cake. <gasps> oh, DJ's going to love that. We, she, cardamom is one of those flavors that's very used in um, like Indian sweets, I think. Um, it pairs perfectly with coffee. And it's good in sweets, too, just generally. I used to make cardamom uh, caramels that were especially good. Uh, let's see. It pairs perfectly with coffee. Indeed. You may need to, it, 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 you say it pairs perfectly with coffee, but yeah, I mean, that's like the primary thing that you put in to make uh, like, a, like a Turkish coffee the way I do, right? Mostly cardamom and a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of cloves, but it's like 90% cardamom. Uh, so good. It's so good. Oh, man. Uh, you may need to use these recipes as a jumping off point, as I hear American ingredients can differ from ours. I also included a container of vanilla sugars. I don't remember that being available in America. That's funny, too. I'm sure everything is available if you look for it. Uh, but I actually have some vanilla-infused sugar I made myself that I haven't... I forgot it was there. Gosh, I hope it doesn't go bad if I just left all the vanilla beans in there. Uh, but they say that's something to do when you have real vanilla beans is to put them in sugar instead of just throwing them away. After you've scraped the, the beans out, you take the shells and... You know, neither here nor there. I appreciate you sending some because it'll be fun. It's probably much better than what I have. Oh, this is it right here. Wow, that is, um, that's, that's going to be fun. Okay. All right, thanks for keeping the stream up and going despite all the internet craziness and issues you've had. Uh, beyond that with the tech, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to tune into these KA Cuties 24-7. I especially appreciate it now that James has relocated to another family member due to finding out that Charlie is severely allergic to cats. Yeah, we heard about that. Um, happily, I can report that <laughs> his hospitalizations due to asthma have gone down significantly. And of course, I love my kiddo, but do really miss having a cat in the house. I'm grateful that I get to live vicariously through KA. As always, thank you for everything you do for the cats, kittens, and moms. Please tell Callie and potentially her new babies by the time you receive this. Hi from me. And of course, this is from Jamestown um, uh, on our Discord. So, uh, I didn't get all the truffles out of this box yet, by the way. There's a couple more uh, yet. Uh, so, just one or two at least. Wow, you really did pack them. And this is clearly for Ari. And he will open it himself if I leave it out for him to smell, so I have to be sure not to do that. Uh, a couple more truffles here, just one or two. The very orange crisps uh, that you mentioned, um, these are so good. Boy, if you never had these, anybody watching, and you like orange chocolate, that's very good stuff. Walker shortbread, of course. I think DJ's got now got like literally tons of this stuff in her backlog, but uh, it is good stuff. Here we have silver vine. Is this what you're looking for? Though? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That's the good stuff. Okay, you could get it over there. A uh, silver vine stick with a feather on it. That's um, a great cat toy. And then, uh, what's this? this is, on the bottom, this is just packing material, right? Okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. Okay, 
Cardamom and cinnamon cookies. Yes, that is uh, that is for sure it. I feel embarrassed for having said um, uh, ginger earlier, but but DJ makes fun of me for that because uh, at some point <laughs> she she said like ginger is the only. Uh, exotic ingredient that I know, so everything that, that is uh, that has any flavor to it tastes like ginger to me, which may have been true at some point to some degree. Let you, the joke, you know, it's got a little something behind it. Uh, not entirely true though. So let's see, we've got butter, sugar, flour, cinnamon, sh uh, vanilla sugar, baking soda, cardamom, and an egg. That's very easy ingredients. Wow. Um, I might want to throw some chocolate in there to make it more like the truffles, but I bet DJ would prefer it exactly that way. Uh, this looks really good. Hmm. And uh, of course, that's all measured in grams. Oh, and cardamom cake. Wow. I can't, I can't think if I ever, ever made a cake that well, didn't come out of a box, which is dumb because, I mean, the, the ingredients in a cake are pretty simple. But let's see. This looks really good. A bunt cake, uh, traditionally, but any will do. Well... I really want to make both of these, and I know DJ will love them too. Thank you so much for these recipes. Um, I I have been looking forward to that. Uh, I need to set them somewhere where they will go with me into the kitchen. I guess that'll work. This all needs to go upstairs. Um, and I don't want these stickers to go uh, elsewhere. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to put those in there with the rest of the stickers so that they don't end up like... I don't know, thrown out with treats or something on accident. That would be, you know, eaten treats. Like we go through all these and the wrappers are in here and I throw out the stickers. Who knows? I could see it happen and I would hate it. So I'm going to put that over there. This is going to go upstairs with the treats. That's all going upstairs. Technically, I think we could be like, that was mailbag since it's 11 o'clock. Um, but that did say box one of two. I don't know if we should just save the other one for tomorrow. If we might as well, we might as well do one more because I feel like we haven't we haven't necessarily gotten through half yet. But maybe tomorrow we always start a, an hour later when we do it on Sunday, so we'll be starting at 11. Uh, maybe I'll manage to be a little less yawnful and uh, get things moving a little quicker too. I was actually my wearing the the wonderful "Let's Get Ready to Ramble" T-shirt uh, this morning. But I noticed that yesterday, last night, um, I murdered a, um, a pomegranate, and uh, apparently I got some of the pomegranate blood <laughs> on my shirt. So uh, I had to change shirts right before mailbag. Wow, that is some zooming welly. All right, let's just see uh, if that box is right on top, or we'll take a different one if a different one's right on top. It is right on top, though, literally right on top. So let's just wrap this one up before we move on. Uh, thank you so much to everybody for everything. Uh, wonderful, generous. I hope, I, I really, I really hope everybody's Christmas is at least this wonderful, at least as wonderful as mine, because um, this is great. It's it's great. It's not the presents that are the... I sound so much like the things my parents said all the time when I was a kid, and now I finally I finally truly understand them, you know? Just like, it's not the presents that, that matter. It's, it's the thought that counts, literally. What a cliched, stupid thing to say. But it's just, it's not the... It's not the gifts. It's just the fact that people thought to write or to send something and one really wanted to is so special. I, I could even tear up talking about it, so I'm going to move on with that. But... You sent, I see, a couple backup truffles in case the first box wasn't going to be enough. Now, I did mention that DJ doesn't normally even like chocolate all that much, but she loved these truffles. I can still predict exactly what's going to happen with this many in the house, which is I'm going to eat 99% of these because DJ savors these things. Uh, you know, she eats one a day for the rest of her life uh, from the amount that you've given us here. Uh, where if I if I know they are in the house and around, I I can't leave them alone. I'm just going to eat them all, which is what often happens uh, when DJ finds something that she likes like this from the treat box. The the company that makes the treat box has a website where you can buy more of them. And when DJ finds one that she likes, she typically will go, I, maybe she's gotten over that because of what happens. But she'd go on she'll go on the website and she'll buy a giant supply of whatever it was. And then she doesn't eat them all. <laughs> and I end up eating most of them. Uh, so 
Yeah. That's happened a few times. So this, though, is something else. It says choc chocolate pod. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. And it says peppercox coolor. Okay. I tried. I tried. And I don't know what any of that means, not even remotely, but what I see are malted milk balls, which are yummy. That's what I'm guessing this is. And maybe they're malted milk balls that have this same sort of cardamom flavor to it, because that would be super good. Or maybe they're just malted milk balls, which are also super good. Oh, oh, and then these are truffles that have been specially set aside from the others. They're a little too good to be mixing with this rabble. Um, but I couldn't tell you what they are. All it says is uh, delicato, delicato, oh, delicato bowl. I can guess what that means. Uh, B-O-L-L. -L. Yeah, I, I, don't, I can't guess how to pronounce it. But it's made by the same company, so... It'll be interesting to see what this flavor is. On the outside, there is a hazelnut and... No, that's not a hazelnut. What on earth? Is that a mushroom? Is that a mint and a mushroom? That can't be, possibly be a mushroom. I mean, maybe the mushroom is just there to s signify truffle. Or maybe it's a mint and mushroom truffle. Or maybe that's not a picture of a mushroom at all. And I just don't know... It's like a Christmas coconut, you know, it's one of those things that everybody's like, Mr. A, you're such a dummy. Uh, who knows? I'm excited to find out one way or the other. Um, thank you so much for sending all this. That's so sweet of you. And these are going to, I'm going to put all these in the box here, and I'm going to close these up and put them in our backup treat cabinet so that when DJ goes through the first box um, sometime next 2025, maybe, we'll be able to bring out these and, and go through those. <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing, of course, but uh, thank you so much. These are wonderful, and they taste so good. Uh, they, they really do. And uh, I just I have to say one more time in my defense, I don't know why this is so embarrassing for me, but you know, I correctly identified that as cardamom and cinnamon when I ate the, them originally the first time. I just, I just want to say that in my defense, okay? That's all. I just, uh, I just wasn't remembering correctly. Uh, all right. I think that's everything for today, guys. I think um, I've got a lot to get done, uh, probably even more than I could possibly do, as usual. I think that's a nice state to be in, as long as, you know, nobody's, like, uh, you know, you don't have some boss breathing down your neck to get it done today. I think it's nice to have more to do because it, it gives you plenty of options to keep yourself uh, busy and entertained, which is important and, uh, you know, productive. So I can be productive at the same time I'm, uh, I'm falling behind. <laughs> and it's great. Okay, I think we should go. Uh, thanks so much, everyone. I'm going to turn off the mic. I'm going to clean this stuff up, and I'm going to see you all tomorrow at 11, okay? Be here or don't. You can watch it later on the, uh, the uploads, uh, which, I, oh, man, I still got to automate the mailbag part. I'm probably behind on those. It's my fault. It's not the fault of the wonderful folks that have been keeping up with the micros every day. So, uh, I think there's somebody in this tree now. Oh, he's just kind of shaking it from the bottom. Who is that? That squall? Looks like a squall to me. Okay. All right, Ari. I know. We're going to get your twin packed up and uh, get everybody put, put away. And it's not nearly time for their lunch yet, but that's fine. We'll shuffle, shuffle some cats. And, uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. and turn that mic off myself when we get into it. But these I want to make so right away.
I, uh, I just was putting that vanilla sugar away with my vanilla sugar. And this is so strong. I, this really has been sitting there for a long time. You can see the vanilla in it. It's uh, apparently also not been entirely sealed because when I picked it up, I could smell it. And it's got these chunks in it from getting a little humidity in it. Um, but let's just see how vanilla it is. It sure smells vanilla. Hmm. Yeah, a bit. I bet the stuff you sent is a uh, a lot more gooder. I talk gooder too. Smells vanilla. I'm not really getting the flavor as much. have to put this all the way away for tomorrow. I can just stash it over here. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Don't look. Don't look over here. Not very much over here. Oh my goodness. I was talking about getting everything out of this box, but not that way. That is not how I intended to get everything out of this box. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, I'm surprised that didn't happen earlier. None of this is Christmas. Oh, I see. This got put over here because it has faculty toys in it. Oh, okay. Well, that'll work for now. Our neighbors do this thing, I guess it's a New Englandy thing, where they uh, all sort of Christmas time, they put a candle, one candle, right in the middle of each window. It looks so pretty uh, at all the houses up and down the streets. So last year, I bought a big set of electric candles. You can put batteries in them, put one in each window from outside that look just like real candles, and they just last all season. You just leave them on all season. Um, and uh, I bought a fresh set of batteries to put in all of them this year. And I set the box aside so that when the batteries came in, I'd be ready to put them all out. I can't, I can't figure out where I put it. <laughs> but all my neighbors have had theirs out for several days. It looks so nice. Oh, and I keep looking at the boxes over here going, one of these has got to be it. Well, I'm going to have to search. I'm going to have to really get to searching because it's, it's getting past time for it now. Okay. Let's take this upstairs. Let's take that upstairs and this upstairs and oh, the backup ones can stay down here. Christmas cards can go to the cardboard for now. I 
Bill. Yes, I'm talking to you and everybody else. I'm going to put these magnets now over on the lunch boxes. We got that idea. It is sort of like decorating with stickers. <laughs> That'll be fun tomorrow.
Serenity, are you ready for me to chase you to your room like we do? And then open the door. Oh, okay, okay. I know you're playing. I know you're playing. Oh, a little bluebird. Uh, maybe it was a girl cardinal. Oh, there we go. There. See, this time I didn't kick you up so awkwardly that you had to run. That was my fault, wasn't it?
going to turn off the mailbag archive in just a minute, um, but I wanted to mention that I brought those truffles up to DJ. She was very excited. In fact, uh, I, you know, I predicted it would take her forever to eat them because she just eats like one a, a day at most. But I said, here, can I put one over by your desk so you, you know, by your uh, you know, bedside table? She's sitting there working on one of her little models right now. Anyway, I said, can I put this over here so you can eat one now? And she said, no, you know, give me a few. I want to eat several now. So that is uh, uncharacteristic of her. Yeah, she must really like those. Okay, now we got to shuffle some cats. Oh, and thanks, everybody.